Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can. together we can game. In the last episode, we made our way to the airport. In this episode, we're going to make our way in the airport. Learn a, bit of, learn a little bit more about our situation. And just have an overall lot of fun making our way through. One thing I want to mention right away is I love how the common infected now have proper attire for the airport. I like how you can see terminal workers, you can see businessmen. You really get a chance for what you would see in an actual airport. And I really like the little touches. I like how there's... That's one thing I will say Left 4 Dead does really well. It gives you a, like a lot of what-if scenarios, like what happened here? This is way before we came here. What were this, What instances happened? Were there other survivors? Obviously there was. We keep seeing the message, God is dead. Now, like I said, it really makes you wonder, what would you feel? Would you stay true to your religion in a situation like this? Or would you start questioning things you know? I don't know. But, enough about that. Let us continue. Oh God! That was a horde. And there was a pilot. <laughs> Maintenance, or just a regular civilian. <laughs> the one thing about this area is there's lots of hordes. Like I mentioned, that's the only bad part about the airports. A lot of travelers, especially around the holidays. So, yeah, it gives you an idea. What was a guy doing in the women's restroom? These zombies. Don't they know? Oh well. Speaking of airports, this brings me to an interesting story. Um, I've traveled quite frequently in my life. I've traveled a fair bit. And I've traveled alone twice. And the first time I traveled alone, it was with my sister. And what I mean alone is we were, I think around, I think we were around 10 and 8. So that was just me and her. The second time I was 17 and I went to New York and when I went through the uh, security when I went through TSA I accidentally brought just my normal tube of toothpaste and I also find it important to mention I was incredibly tan at the time so they literally uh, basically chose me for random testing or random uh, screening and they bring me to this room, and they start asking me questions like, what are your intentions with this toothpaste? And I'm a very sarcastic person, so part of me wanted to be like, well, <laughs> to brush my teeth, but I'm pretty sure they were looking for a different answer. So I, I explained the situation that I didn't know that I wasn't allowed to have a certain size toothpaste. I just brought the tube from home and they explain regulations and they let me go but it's kind of funny because when they let me go they let me go on how old are you and I said 16 and I was like they just kind of looked at each other like oh so I, I wonder did they think I was older did they think I was a threat it's just one of those things I even to this day I, I don't really know but enough about my trips to the airport Let's continue through this airport. Let's make our way. Look around. Get some pills. Actually, I'm going to use this. Here, witch. Want to be careful. I love how it takes you through like all the sections too. You have check in here and where the bags go and oh god, not 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 gonna. All right, I'm going to be careful. Don't want to rile up a witch. Nothing is worse than a riled up witch. And God, the puns I could make, but I'm choosing not to. And speaking of God, the message returns. Okay, we're going to continue our way through baggage claim. <laughs> oh, baggage, please look over here. Okay. Let's have a little more livelihood here, a little more action. Now I feel like Elvis. And I hear a hunter. All right. We're just going to continue. Smoker. I am tired of the smoker. And we dealt with the... Whoa! Even more weapons. Didn't know that. Okay. Oh god! No, 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 no. Thank you, Bell. Taking one for the team, man. Really are. I'll say that about Bell. All right, and the tank's down. I'm All right, everyone's reloading. Let's make our way through here. Okay, nothing really. 
Oh, I thought that worker was still alive. I was gonna get really worried. It's okay, where do I? As much as I played this this uh <laughs> this campaign, I still managed to get lost. Maybe I need to go up, or I need to go this way. Okay, I'm gonna want to be weary of the medical medical metal <laughs> detectors because they will alert the horde. And there's Atlas holding up the world in a destroyed airport. Duty free shipping. Oh, shopping. Huh. Convenient. There's the outside. <laughs> but we gotta make our way through. Boomer. Killed the boomer, didn't even realize. Alright, killing pilots, killing passengers. All infected, so. It's all good. If these guys were not infected, it'd be Modern Warfare 2, and we would be Russian. Oh god. Okay. So my question for my viewers out there today is, have you ever traveled? If you have, where to? And based on your situation, do you think you would have... Would you travel again? Have you ever had any run-ins with the TSA? Tell me your stories below. I'd really love to hear them. You've heard my one story. <laughs> And I now know never to bring normal sized toothpaste because well, as much fun as being randomly selected and searched was, I don't want to be patted down ever again. It's just a personal thing. It's, it's not that I didn't appreciate it, but I didn't. But that's not the point. Point is, if you have any stories, please share them below. And with that, we have made it through this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. More importantly, I hope you have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.